Good morning. My name is Dr. Stephen Griffith, and I'm a stereotactic and functional neurosurgeon right here at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. Today, you're with me in the operating room so that I can show you a little bit of how we perform DBS surgery or deep brain stimulation surgery. Here at St. Luke's, we perform stereotactic placement of deep brain stimulation electrodes using intraoperative image guidance instead of a traditional microelectrode recording. This allows for the patient to be asleep comfortably under general anesthesia for the entire procedure and not be awake as with the traditional MER procedures. We are the only center in the Midwest to perform serotonin-assisted DBS. We are the third center in the entire United States to perform it this way, and we are the only center to perform serotonin-assisted DBS east of Phoenix, Arizona. This equipment right here is our serotonin CT scanner. This serotonin CT scanner allows us to obtain intraoperative images of the patient so that we can receive confirmation of where we ultimately place our electrodes. In order to know exactly where we place our electrodes, we also use the stealth neuronavigation equipment from Metronic, and this allows us to plan our imaging, plan our trajectory to our target nuclei within the brain, and to verify that when we've placed our electrodes, that we are exactly on target.
When I started DBS surgery, and we were performing DBS surgery years ago with the patient awake and using microelectro recording, I kind of likened that to sonar, much the way two submarines might try to find out where they are in a deep, dark ocean. Today, however, with serotonin-assisted DBS, this allows us a type of GPS technology, if you will, to know exactly where these electrodes are placed. And as you can see, it's a much better experience for the patient because number one, the patient does not have to hold your Parkinson's medications prior to surgery. Number two, the patient can be asleep comfortably for the entire case. Number three, it's faster for the patient. And number four, we know exactly where the electrodes are placed.